Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh and entered his service. During the seven years, when the earth brought forth abundance, Joseph traveled throughout the land of Egypt and collected all the food and stored it in the cities. Joseph stored grain in quantities like the sands of the sea, so much that they stopped counting because it was beyond measure. Before the year of the famine, Joseph had two sons born to him by Asenath. Joseph called his firstborn Manasseh, saying, For God has made me forget all my troubles I suffered at the hands of my family. The second son born he called Ephraim, saying, For God has made me fruitful in the land of my misfortune. When the seven years of abundance and the land of Egypt ended, the seven years of famine began, just as Joseph had said. There was famine in all the lands, but throughout the land of Egypt there was food. And when the people of Egypt began to feel the famine, they cried out to Pharaoh for food. And Pharaoh said to all the Egyptians, Go to Joseph and do whatever he tells you. The famine was all over the face of the earth, and Joseph opened all the storehouses and sold food to the Egyptians. And people from all over the earth came to Egypt to see Joseph and buy grain. When Jacob learned that there was grain in Egypt, he said to his sons, Why are you looking at each other? I have heard there is grain in Egypt. Go down there and buy some for us so that we may live and not die. So all of Joseph's brothers went down to buy grain from Egypt, except for Benjamin. Jacob did not send him with his brothers because he feared something would happen to him. Now Joseph was governor over Egypt, and it was he who sold to all the people of the land. And when Joseph's brothers came and bowed down before him, Joseph recognized them, but he acted as though he were a stranger and spoke harshly to them. Where are you from? We are from the land of Canaan, and we came to buy food. And while Joseph recognized his brothers, they did not recognize him. Joseph remembered the dreams he had about his brothers, and he said, You are spies. You have come to spot the weakness of our land. No, my lord, your servants have come to buy food. We are all the sons of one man. We are honest men, not spies. No, you have come to spy on the weaknesses of our land. We, your servants, are twelve brothers, the sons of one man in the land of Canaan. The youngest has stayed with our father, and another one is gone. Just as I said, you are spies. Here is how you can prove that you are not lying. As Pharaoh lives, you will not leave here unless your youngest brother comes here. Send one of you and let him bring your brother. Meanwhile, you will be kept in custody. This will prove whether there is truth in what you say. Otherwise, as Pharaoh lives, you are surely spies. Then Joseph put all of them together in prison for three days. Now Joseph was governor over the land. He was the one who sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brothers came and bowed themselves before him with their faces to the ground. Joseph saw his brothers and recognized them. But he treated them like strangers and spoke roughly to them. Where do you come from, he said. They said, from the land of Canaan to buy food. And Joseph recognized his brothers, but they did not recognize him. Genesis chapter 42, verses 6 to 8.